Hey guys and welcome to Car Guy 1999 Reviews. Today I bring you the all new 2019 Ford Expedition. This one is pretty much fully loaded. This one is actually for sale at Auto Fair Ford in Manchester, New Hampshire. But yeah, this one's pretty much the highest option you can get. Sure, there's a couple more packages you could do. Go on and get in the back seat here, because it's just... Look how much room I have. I'm in a seating position that is comfortable for me to drive in. Just look how much room... I could pretty much set my feet all the way back. You have charging ports back here, your own climate controls down here. You have wall outlet, as well as your typical 12 volt down there. With map pockets, even though I'm sure nobody ever uses maps anymore. Nice panoramic sunroof. With your volume controls and media all here. Pretty nice back here, and also a nice feature is the seatbelt airbag. Yeah, this this seatbelt has an airbag in it, so keeps people nice and safe. And you can also see back here to the third row, which has a very good amount of space. Let's go take a look at this car's window sticker. Just gonna leave the door open because the key's inside of it and I don't want to lock the keys in by accident. This is your basic window sticker. This car specifically comes to 74200. This is the limited trim with the 3.5 EcoBoost V6 and the 10 speed transmission. Another thing you might not be able to see, but uh, automatic running boards. Pretty nice feature. I have to say, I'm thoroughly impressed with this car. I'm not normally a fan of big, big SUVs like this, but this is pretty good. You have ventilated seats, which I'll go ahead and shut off. Heated steering wheel, all of the features you could ever need, as well as coin holders. You have a nice little spot for the key in there little pockets all in all just really cool let's go ahead and take it for a drive you have multiple different drive modes you have sport tow haul mud ruts sand grass gravel snow normal eco and back to sport you do have a manual mode you go ahead and press that button on the top of the shifter one that sits in drive. You can upshift and downshift via those two buttons. Right now the truck is in 4A. We can go ahead and put it in too high. Huge center console with more plugs as well as more coin holders. And a spot for pens, which is pretty cool. wireless charging port, and two additional USB chargers. Yeah, let's take this for a drive. This has the uh, Bang & Olufsen sound system, which is absolutely killer. This essentially is the same engine that's in the Raptor, except the Raptor has been tuned a bit for peak power. But this is no slouch at all. This is actually very, very quick and very fast for, you know, the truck it is. Everything about this truck is very luxurious. Turn signal stuck, stuff that you wouldn't expect to be, you know, tuned up for this truck, it is. It's a very soft, it's not clunky, it's actually very, it doesn't seem like it's about to break off on you. 
It's so like if you if you take a listen, you won't be able to hear a clunk. I mean, come on. Everything you rest your hands on is all soft touch material. Even all up here is all soft touch. Of course, the plastic's gonna be plastic, but it has a very nice feel to it. Steering wheel's nice and big, but it's also leather wrapped and it's a nice squishy feel. Go ahead, get into the power here. Yep, it's uh, it's quick. Almost sounds like the waste gates, like right there. All you hear is just that whoo sound. It's really kind of neat. Sport mode, it will keep your revs up high. Just do what it needs to do. This 10 speed is really good. Visibility is actually impressive for how big of a truck this really is. I have had no problems maneuvering it. It's been actually a pleasure to drive this car for the past couple, you know, like for the half hour I've had it. You do have lane keep assist, so if I were to go, it's gonna rumble the steering wheel at me to let me know I've crossed the lane. Nice Raptor. All right, chance to get this thing from a dig. bad rides nice and smooth Put it into eco mode and see what that does. Yeah, that definitely sl slows down throttle response. Let's put it into mud and ruts. Puts that into 4x4. Four four. Tightens everything up. Okay, if you can't hear that turbo, I'm gonna have to get a new camera.
just cruising in eco it's very comfortable it's just really well done honestly I mean this is a really really nice truck I did not all day the three cars I've reviewed have all impressed me and like I said before there hasn't been a Ford that I've driven that I have not liked which is pretty impressive on Ford's part while I am ashamed to say the new Focus ST and Fiesta ST aren't coming to North America what they got going on in their trucks is pretty good too they really did a great job on these things. The fact that you can compare a Bentley Bentayga and this is actually really impressive. Honestly, I would rather take the money and buy this than a Bentayga. Believe, you're going to hate me in the comments for saying that, but I would rather have this if it was me spending money, not money's no object, if it was my money that I worked and earned, I would rather have this than a Bentayga. Just saying that now. Whoops. Do it from a dig real quick. Mind blowing. It's not like the Fiesta where it's just, it's zingy. No, this is a deep torque punch. It is really good. Let's see how it handles these turns. I am back in sport mode. Not bad. Deep bumps. Can't even feel them. Honestly, if you're thinking of buying one of these, or thinking of buying any luxury SUV, look at this. Honestly, I I say from I'm not saying this because I'm trying to sell cars for Auto Fair. I'm saying this as me. If you're looking at luxury SUVs, look at this. Don't get an Escalade. Don't get a Navigator. Get one of these. I mean, the this is really good. Really, really good. And I didn't think I would say that. I really didn't. I didn't think that I'd like this as much as I do which is pretty good. It's pretty good.
Back in normal. It's easy. It's quiet. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Please stay tuned for more reviews. At this point, I should have a review every week. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great day.